Hi guys! This year, one of the greens I chose to grow is red-veined sorrel. And I grew this in the middle of winter. It was one of my winter sowing projects that I sowed in a milk jug. And the sorrel came up beautifully, and I have it in a couple areas of my garden. But um, this is best used as a spice. Um, some people use it like a spinach and saute it up, but um, I have found that if I take the leaves, I have done a little bit of cooking with uh, of them when they're fresh, but I've decided that I want to make some more sorrel powder because earlier in the summer I did dehydrate the leaves and I pureed them up and we've been putting sorrel powder on our food. Um, the only thing is you can't use, you can't overuse it. It does affect your kidneys as it is a diuretic. So this is something, you know, you want to use um, lightly, and um, that's how we're using it, but it's a wonderful perennial green, comes back every year, and the leaves are gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead, and when I collect it to make my sorrel powder, I collect only the unblemished leaves, which is not a problem, because I have quite a lot of uh, uh, sorrel plants now. Just in the first season, it's really, really easy to get started. I'm, I'm just going to cut a couple of the unblemished leaves. And um, I'm going to continue doing that. And I'll show you how much I harvested before I put it in my dehydrator. And um, it only takes a few hours in the de dehydrator. And then I put it in a magic bullet and make it into powder, and it's delicious. Here is a whole row of the red vein sorrel. And um, I think it's actually so beautiful. It's really, really a prolific plant. And it is just so beautiful with the variegation on there. The red, the red veins just make it a very ornamental plant. So this is one that um, I had never grown before, and I'm thrilled to have in my garden. And it should be coming back every year. So I'm going to finish my harvest, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, here's the harvest. So I'm going to put it in the dehydrator, and it will dehydrate down to um, just a little bit of powder, but every little bit counts. And um, I'm not a food preservation expert, but it is considered best practice to pick only the healthiest leaves you can find. And I picked um, the younger ones, too. I think any type of leafy green, the younger ones are just uh, tastier and preferable. They don't have as much wear and tear. So I'm going to rinse these off, pat them dry, and pop them in the dehydrator. So this is why we wash things. Here's a little critter that took a ride on a leaf in my colander. And he got a shower as I was showering him showering the leaves and uh, I'm just happy I spotted him and he didn't end up in the dehydrator he's going back outside where he belongs all right isn't that pretty I just think these leaves are gorgeous I have laid them out in a single layer on my dehydrating tray and I dried patted dry both the front and back of the leaf and gave it a good look over to make sure that there are no more hitchhikers on my leaves. Last thing I want to do is dehydrate some poor little creature. So I'm going to uh, line those all up on the different trays. I've got one tray in there already and we'll get the dehydrating process started. All the trays are filled. Let's get this started. I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do 130 degrees, and let's do it for three hours, and I'll check on that. I'm using a Kasori brand dehydrator, by the way, which has worked just fine for me, and uh, we'll come back in three hours and check on how it's doing. Okay, so it's been three hours of dehydrating 
and it looks like our leaves have dehydrated nicely and they are ready to be pureed in a magic bullet blender. Okay, here it is, all loaded in, and I'm going to go ahead and puree that up on my small blender. That should do it. And here it is dumped out onto a paper plate. It's blended down to a very fine powder and I'm just going to store it like I have this one in a glass jar. And this should last me uh, all winter, I hope. I might, I might have a chance to do some more before the winter rolls in. But this is a good way of getting your greens. Dry some of your vegetables and your herbs get ready for winter thanks so much for watching and tuning in and subscribing and i'll see you next time